My name's Catherine Aldred. I'm consultant speech and language therapist and honorary lecturer at the University of Manchester. IMPACT was set up to deliver training in PACT. PACT stands for Paediatric Autism Communication Therapy. IMPACT is the organisation, the social enterprise, which delivers PACT training. Our mission is the maximum reach of PACT intervention for the benefit of children with autism, improving communication, quality of life, driven by parental advocacy. Children are accessing now diagnostic assessments, but then the treatment is either very sparse, non-existent, or for what treatments are available, these may be involve extensive cost and family time, for which there is little evidence. We wanted to put under test the best clinical intervention and take it through rigorous successive research trials so that we had high quality evidence for the best practice. The social enterprise is about operationalising the highest quality research so that we can reach communities and extend it out into practice. The advantages of being a not-for-profit organisation is that it meets criteria for applying for grants and donations and we can feed back into the communities. The thing that drives me is taking the best quality out into communities for the benefit of reaching global health needs so that children directly benefit from that quality research. This is what the social enterprise is about. The enterprise is about connecting people together who can deliver high quality PAC training through a Train the Trainer programme. We're innovatively reaching communities by using new technologies to make the intervention more accessible, even in the most remote and hard to reach communities. Our social enterprise has the aim of setting up different training hubs globally. We've already successfully developed training in Italy, France, Spain, Australia, Hong Kong, India, Pakistan, amongst others. Some of those have now following the Train the Trainer and we're developing at the moment already developing three hubs that will become training centres themselves in their own right. We've gained an Innovation Optimizer Award and we've gained an Awards for All Award as well as some revenue generated from our training. A quarter of that revenue has already gone back into the NHS and to global training. The Just Social and the Roadmap Sessions, which was very influential in changing my thinking. The key gain has been the ideas of making this operationalised. We've had feedback from our NHS partners and they have provided us feedback about what's feasible in their context, how it can be rolled out into communities. We've not only trained them, we've also supervised and supported them and now taking them through the steps to become trainers themselves. Our next step is look at priority healthcare needs in families with autism and then we're looking at how we can address those healthcare agendas in a way that's using the best quality research. The key issues are looking at how we connect with the different commissioning models in the NHS. Each different NHS trust may have different priorities and different methods of commissioning. So it's a matter of connecting and forming partnerships with those different NHS trusts. The other key issue is actually generating funding streams. We're looking for grants and donations so that we can subsidise training to deliver to NHS trusts because once we have them trained, we can give them the Train the Trainer programme so they can become more independent and self-generate. But the first step is getting them trained in the first instance. The benefit of being involved in entrepreneurial activity is the thinking actually creative thinking, innovative thinking, taking the strict research testing in an academic organisation out into the creative thinking about connecting with partners in the community and making sure that they benefit from the quality research. As a social enterprise, what we're looking for is increased donations, generating funding streams for the benefit of the social enterprise. We're also looking to increase engagement with NHS trusts. Key priority is to disseminate this UK-wide through working in partnership with the NHS.